Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. I was just sitting here in my jammies, drinking a coffee. Um, normally, hey, I don't even post on Saturdays, but I got excited about this, so I wanted to share this with you. Uh, let's jump over into my computer here. Obviously, I've been kind of trying to scale my business throughout this, and it's been a pain in the butt, but of course we try and adapt as entrepreneurs. And I have this new product here, and for the past month, every time, you know, a month to the day ago, I sourced this product, started working with a supplier to begin manufacturing it. Of course, um, this channel is all about transparency and showing my product, showing everything I do, showing that it's okay to fail, um, just scaling along with you guys so it's okay, I don't need to play this out or anything. But we go to create the shipping plan, for the past month it would just say restricted, not accepting non-essential items. But check this out, hey, I made a video yesterday, the next day we we're able to do this. So check this out, we zoom in on the screen here. Wow, that was a massive zoom, really, really stellar there. Beginning April 18th, 2020, this is right from Amazon Seller Central. More products are eligible for shipment creation. We continue to focus on ensuring our ability to fulfill the highest priority products that consumers need at this time, while a broader set of products can now be sent to our fulfillment centers. We are limiting the quanti quality, the quantity, quantity, you can send for some of these products. So that's great. That's exactly what I said yesterday, that Amazon was planning on introducing the ability to send in much more products just with a limited quantity of said products. And this is good because now I want to show you how much I can actually send in. It's, it's kind of hilarious. Actually, it's not close to how many I have. That's for sure. Um, so first of all, you can just see right here, there is no error message before even just getting to this stage, there'd be an error message. You can't even enter units per case. You can't do anything. Uh, but now what we can do is we can come over here. Um, so you had 10 units per case, five cases, that's my maximum quantity for this product just because it's a newer product. Now, some of my other products that sell really well, the quantity is not that low. It's several hundred actually, which is great. Um, but this, now watch if I try and even send 60, um, limited restock. So what this means is if you're a new seller or if you're launching new products, those new products you won't be able to send as much inventory in for. Um, if you have products that are currently selling well, the restock quantity may be much higher for you because Amazon already knows they can move that inventory. It's almost like a risk to take on new products from their standpoint um, because if it doesn't sell, they're just filling their warehouses with, so it's a, it's a lot more strict than it would usually be. Um, but I could send 50 of these in right now. So the product's light, small. I could ship 50 in with air shipping as I'm able to. As I start selling those, I could start sending more. And then of course, in the weeks to come, this is only gonna be getting better and broader and more shipments and more quantity will be allowed. And I'd imagine if I send 50 in today, um, as this sells and gets ranked, my next time I restock might be even larger. So I just wanted to bring that news to you. It's always good to hear that things are getting better, um, especially for Amazon FBA, just the fact that you can actually send, this is a completely new listing, I've never sent inventory in, it for, in for it. Um, so I can go ahead right now, send 50 units in, um, and start that ranking process. Now, 50 units, what are you gonna do with that? Well, it's a step. So I just wanted to share with share with you, you could still gather information, you could still um, get it in there, get your ads really lightly tested, and you can start optimizing them with less. Hey, if, if you only have um, a couple hundred bucks to start FBA, maybe now's the time you can't even do more than 50 to 100 units for a new product. So go see what you can do there and uh, start turning small amounts into slightly more so that by the time that you can send in as much inventory as you want, uh, maybe you have a thousand or two thousand dollars to get started. But just wanted to share some good news with you. Hopefully, you guys are all having a great weekend. Um, and as always, I'll see you here again on the channel on Monday for um, our next set of videos. But yeah, have a great weekend. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you later.